Hello everybody, and welcome to today's video. Now, for those of you who may not know, I used to be a really big fan of Nintendo games. Uh, they would make some of the best games, and um, in the recent years, this sort of had a decline. Um, so, I'm going to sort of tell you how I believe that they could improve. Now, first of all, uh, I had played a lot of Nintendo stuff until 2014 when I bought my Xbox 360. And then in 2015 I started playing the PlayStation. And that's what I play um, all the time now. So, I bought a Wii U in 2014 as well. So, first of all, the Wii U is a um, not the best system, but not necessarily the worst system. Now, first of all, everybody knows about the gamepad that it has. Now, I sort of like the concept, but there are things that I don't like about it. Um, I like that it is the gamepad and it's sort of like a unique type thing. I feel like with the uh, next gen consoles that each um, company made, they sort of made something unique about their controllers. Um, with the Wii U obviously having a gamepad, PlayStation with a touchpad, and um, Xbox just, you know, making their controller, a lot of people already like the 360 controller, so making it better uh, with the Xbox One. So, this is an interesting thing, but what I don't like about it is that if this thing goes dead, because I don't use the gamepad, I only use it for the beginning of my game, then I just use the uh, regular Wii controller. This thing, if it's dead, you can't really play your game. So I don't really like that. Now, there are things that they're going to stop making the Wii U in 2016. Now, I don't believe this is the best thing that they can do. Um, I believe that there's ways that they can compete with um, PlayStation and Xbox. And that is not to um, stop making your system. What they have to do first, I believe, run it out with the system and start developing their system right now. So, they have already started developing it, obviously they're going to release it in 2016. Or 2017. What they have to do is, I think, develop a really good system, and when the next Xbox and PlayStation come out, to release them then. Because I think that to compete, you have to release them at the same time. Because there are talks of the new PlayStation that can play 4K games, and also a new Xbox. But they're both still going to be the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So maybe do an updated Wii U, but don't release a new one. A whole new system. Until probably 2020, maybe. Well, I believe the other companies might release something new. Now, they have done a couple of good things. And that is this game, Mario Kart 8. Really good game. Um, I thought this game is um, really fun to play. The anti-gravity part of it maybe isn't the best idea they've had. But it's definitely a good game to play. Now, one thing that they could improve on is they're always trying to be a family oriented system with games like I said with Mario Kart. But if they did try to release other games like what they have on the PlayStation and Xbox, more of those type of games, maybe they might get a bit more people to maybe want to play them. Um you know, for example, some of the games that I have here, Fallout, uh, The Division, GTA, games like that, if they try to release just a couple of those games on the system, people might have interest in it. And the other thing is that they don't have a way uh, that you have the ability to live stream without having to use a Elgato or some other type of capture card. Where on the PlayStation, I don't have a capture card, but I can stream all the time that I want to. There's a button I press and I can stream. They don't have that on Mario Kart or whatever other games I want to play. Also, when you do make videos of these, there are good features they have, like you can record your gameplay with this and upload it. Uh, it saves your gameplay. 
but there are some issues, including the fact that it won't let you upload a full race. You have to cut it down to a minute and a half. Maybe you guys have seen those videos. And also, back when I used to record the TV screen uh, without uploading things normally, you get a copyright warning for certain parts, including the loading screen of the game. And if they want people to be more interested, I believe that they have to change stuff in that sense that you don't get um, to have to make things short or something like that. They should just have a way you can live stream just like on the PlayStation or Xbox. Again, they have done a couple good things like the DS's, the 3DS's in 2011 version, so this is the original 3DS. Um, but their DS games are good. They're always making good content on that. And I like the Amiibos like this one here. I think that they are actually a cool concept. Now, I think that they're a bit pricey at $12 each, but I like the concept of it. Um, they're pretty cool. Now, I wish I could find the one I was looking for, but um, they are a bit pricey in it. The one that I want, I looked it up on Amazon. It's, a bit, it's even more money sold by Nintendo on there than it is in the store. So, uh, her, her shoes, and she, she has a purple shoe. I didn't notice that. The hell? Either way, they could, uh, maybe sell this for a bit cheaper. And, um, you know, besides that, I think that the Amiibos are a good concept as well. And the last thing that I actually want to get to is on my phone. And that is the new Nintendo app, the, uh, what is it called, the Mitomo. That is actually an interesting app. I'm just going to open it up here. Um, so I've been sort of playing the app. Uh, so for this video, just to sort of like, see what it was um, about. Now, it's sort of interesting because you have your uh, Mii's on here, so this is my me. Uh, so it saves your pictures for you. Uh, now it's sort of cool because it talks. So it will uh, ask you random questions like that. And um, uh, I also like the fact that you can uh, edit your uh, characters. You can go change the clothes that they have. Uh, so that's sort of cool. Uh, you have the ability to really customize your character. So, overall I really like the, the concept of the app. Now do I think that they could probably make something better and a bit different? Yes, they probably can. Uh, with this app, um, you have to, if you want to know your friend's answers are to things, uh, you have to, like, use things to just see their answers. So I wish that they sort of made it almost, in a sense, more like a um, Twitter that you have to answer the questions. If they did it in that sense, where it just shows up in, like, a, a feed and you can see the things. So, like, the question where it said, what's your greatest adventure, like the one I just got. If it said your greatest adventure is whatever, whatever you put as your answer, and then it just shows up in sort of like a thing like a tweet instead of you having to like use little pieces of little candy that it gives you to see what it is, uh, I think that they could improve in that sense. But overall, um, they have some good things but some bad things that they could definitely improve on, including the app, like I said, which I do like the app, but I think that they could definitely improve that. Um, and then the gamepad, having that be connected, I don't necessarily think that that's the best idea, having it that you have to use that. And, um, so of course there's some things they can improve on, but some things that are, uh, good. So, uh, with that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video. Now, before I do end this video, make sure you guys go down to the description and check out all the stuff that's there, um... Just uh, my Twitter, Casey's Twitter, 
Casey's Gaming Channel, Casey's Music Channel, Casey's SoundCloud, and the ECM Twitter. So make sure you go down there and check all that stuff out. And like I said, we will see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. I said that backwards.